okay i made a video before about my books and how i you know decided to reach back out to people who i had problems with and kind of fix it and men men you know issues i had and it, i did and worked out and i was really excited about it um what i didn't share was that my books also had a negative negative feel with um some of the characters um and i think it's important to say that i did the exact same thing with the people that are still in my life today and don't they shouldn't be and i know it sounds crazy but um I have, a, I have a friend, I have a friend in my life, or I did, I have a best friend in my life who, you know, through reading these words, like, I was getting so angry and so mad, and I know that this person doesn't think twice about it, but you know what, I didn't like the fact that they could wake up and have the satisfaction of me just, like, existing, just to exist, like, if you needed me, you can call me, and I didn't like that anymore, and it made me fucking angry, so, because guess what? I realized over all of this writing that, like, they were a pretty fucking shitty person. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm no fucking angel. I'll throw that out there. I'm not an angel. But you know what? I'm loyal to a fault. And when I love, I love hard. And I will do whatever it takes to keep you in my life. And guess what? You don't have to do that. Nobody has to, nobody's forcing me to do, do that. Just like nobody's forcing anybody to keep anybody in anyone's life. Okay? So, last night... I took the step of being like, hey man, like, this is how I feel writing these books. I'm not, it's not that I'm dwelling on the past, but the past made me who I am today, presently. And presently, you don't fucking fit in to my world. You know, I was walking down the street the other day, and I was thinking about dating somebody, and I'm like, whoa. Well, in order for, for this person to understand who I am, they're going to have to know who this person is. Otherwise, they're just not going to get me. And I was holding my friend, this this best friend of mine, up on this pedestal for the last 10 years. And for what? I, over the last 10 years, have felt disappointed, let down, fucked with. Like, the amount of bad feelings that came with this person severely outweighed the good. And the only way I can possibly see this now is because of my writing. Because I didn't see it for all this time. And up till last night, when I made the decision to, like, evacuate this person from my world, like, I never saw that. Because just the slightest, like, good moment just always trumped all the bad. It was like a little kid that waits on their doorstep for their deadbeat fucking father to, like, show up, and they never do. Here I am trying to like plan like oh it's gonna be my 30th bir birthday party like I want you to come down and chill and as I'm writing that my friend here didn't even call me on my 21st amongst other times like no it's nobody's like responsibility to like make me happy but here you are claiming you're this like important person in the world to me and all this bullshit and it's like you're never there you were never there the only times you were there was when it was convenient and it's convenient for you okay because now that we're adults guess what we made a deal that we would only, we would only be around for like the big things okay which is understandable we all have things we have kids we have marriages we have jobs we have 10 jobs, I don't know. So that was cool. I was okay with that. Just like with my other friends. It's just a fucking thing. Like, that's life. But no. Because it's not just like any other friend. And... I'll tell you why it's not. Because no other friend, no other relationship has ever disappointed me as much as my relationship with this person. So I was having all these negative bad feelings. I was sad writing it. I was a mess last night. Literally like tears streaming down my fucking face. Cause I was sad. I was so, so fucking sad. I was sad because, you know, I'm a loyal person. And when I love, like, I love you no matter what. Like, I'll be there for you no matter what. But it is not fair not fair like, I shouldn't have to feel guilted into holding my convictions and keeping my principles for somebody who does not deserve them so that it makes me come like it makes me feel like shit because I fit I can't do it anymore I can't it bothers me that you know 
you can wake up in the morning and like know that you can call me if you need me. And maybe you don't even think about that. Maybe, I don't know. I don't have any idea. But this girl didn't ask me to stay. And that's how I knew it was over. <sighs> and it's fine. But you know what? Did I have to go back and be like, hi, I don't want to talk to you anymore moving forward because of shit that happened 10 years ago, nine years ago, eight years, whatever. Did I have to do that? No, because guess what? This person is barely in my life right now. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to, but I just wanted her to know that it wasn't okay. And now present day, it's not okay to keep that type of person and have that type of relationship in my life. I'm not talking about the negative stuff. I'm talking about like the positive stuff. I'm talking about like, you shouldn't be able to call me up anymore just to like bullshit with me. You don't deserve, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve it. And it was a very hard decision for me to make. But anyways, it, it just, that, I didn't expect, I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't expect to have to, I didn't expect to feel so strongly that I was willing to make like this bold decision. And it does not affect me daily. It does not affect her daily. Probably neither of us will even think twice. Technically, I've thought about it for a really long time and um, that's so maybe it's just me. Um, so I was, I, was, I was really, really, really upset last night. But you know what? I was talking to my cousin today and he was like, wow, it's about time, like, the magic spell is, like, gone. And I was like, dude, what the fuck does that mean? And he was like, that girl has let you down since day one. She fucked with you so much. Yeah, he told me that. I read it. I knew it. And I always made excuses. It's a weird kind of, like, relief. It's like a very painful to think about all those years and and at the same time it's kind of freeing because like I'm not I'm not bound anymore to like my past I am not bound to that relationship anymore I'm not bound to those memories and as I power through chapter four I know that it gets worse because I've already went through all of this I know that it gets worse But at least I have the satisfaction of creating my own ending for this one. So, you know what? Love does not conquer all. Love ends and love begins again. And there's some type of shit in between. But it does not conquer all. And it is okay to take people out of your life. Just, just, just what I learned. My heart hurts, but I know this is the right decision. I always hope for a happy ending. And I'll get it. And I'll probably get it a lot easier without this baggage. So yeah, it's not dwelling on the past. It's owning the present. And that's all I gotta say. We're done.